Hello friends and welcome to this real time single page forum series. So first thing first, this is a Udemy course and this course included 100 videos split it up into 22 sections. So if you want to check out this course, just get the link in the description and you will get 93% off on this course and the amount after the 93% off is the lowest price a Udemy can offer in any of the course so just go and check out the course and you can watch this video to have the look of the course what this course offer and what you are going to build and there are more preview videos on that course so just go and check out this video and let's first talk about what the technologies we are going to use in this course so first is pusher obviously we are going to create some real-time system so for that pusher will going to help and this course is also in a collaboration with the pusher so i would like to thanks pusher to having all these things for us to create the real-time app then for the backend we need laravel because we are going to create an api as we are going to create a single page application then for the front end, the JavaScript partner is Vue.js. Vue.js will help us to modify the components on the go for making the single page application work. And then Vue.ty for the material framework, the front end CSS part. And then we need a Vue router to change the URL as we go along one page to another page. The most important part is JSON web token for the stateless authentication partner because we are going to create a single page app and there will be no sessions. Then we are going to use Markdown editor and which is obviously a great tool and very famous nowadays in the developer communities. Then what actually we are going to build as I have told you the single page app and that app is actually a discussion forum where you can ask question and people will will interact with your question giving replies and you will also reply others. Okay, then what actually we are going to make real time as we know that we are going to use a pusher. So we have many things which are going to be real time like notifications just like Facebook. You have the notifications on that on the fly it will just just update the notification count and even add the notification in notification part similarly we have like dislike just like the Twitter if you go on Twitter the likes increase or decrease on the go you don't have to refresh it's just all real time then every new reply can add to your question on the fly no refresh nothing else all these three system will be real time so let's now go to the Chrome and see actually what we are going to build. So on the Chrome, you can see this is our front page, a real time single page application, a real time single page forum app. We have the toolbar and the footer here. And we know that we have the forum. So we will have questions, which is obviously empty for now and no category yet. So let's just log in. But to log in, we need a account so let's create an account sign up here and i will give the credentials and secret password is secret and then hit sign up and you can see as we have logged in we have two new buttons which for one is for ask question and second is for categories so to create a question we need to give a category so let's first create a category so i will give category name level first hit enter and on the fly you can see just in a real time it's now created and if i refresh this it's staying here that means it's saved on the back end and you can obviously edit it so level 2 like that so make it level okay so this is good and if i now go to ask question and i will ask question that what is pusher this is my question and my category is level is what is pusher and how i will use it this is my question and we can also give some bold can you create a course on this and yes i'm going to create that so let's submit this and you can see with no refresh even this is submitted and we are on our questions and what is the question pusher uh, yeah pusher spelling is mistake so 
no problem let's go here and update this to pusher which is a correct spelling so hit here save and yes we have saved this so even if i refresh yes everything is fine so as i have told you there will be notifications notifications for a new reply on your question so, so let's suppose someone else is replying on this question so let's go to incognito window to create a new user so like this i will go to pusher.dev once more login sign up and i will call this bitfumes and email bitfumes1 at gmail.com password is again secret it doesn't matter sign up and yes we have here so let's go to this first question and let me do one thing i will move this like here and this like here by the way you can see that our window is now shrinked this means we are on a smaller devices and that's why we have this button and if i click okay that's nice we have this sidebar and the name of the user similarly here also we have the name of user obviously you can change the image according to the user then we have all these things logout button forum and everything we have here on big screen like this okay so that's nice so let me do one thing i'm going to give a new reply here so i will say yes i will create a course so let's reply here so keep your eye here reply count is zero there is no reply here no notification nothing else if i reply here and you can see in a no time without any refresh the new reply comes here the reply count increases there is one notification here so everything is real time and that's the magic of using pusher so what i'm going to demonstrate you next is that you can see yeah bitfumes has replied on this question but sarthak want to like this uh, reply so if i click here and voila you can see it's now increased to one here but also on bitfumes side this means if i uncheck this that means unlike it and yes it decreased down to zero once more so this is all we are going to create and as i have told you we are going to use this markdown editor and all these things in this course and i am very excited to have this and please go and get this course and you are going to learn lots and lots of things which you will not get in a single course yes you will get the courses for uh, view device for vue.js for json web token for api but not all of these in a one course so i'm sure you are going to definitely get this course and thanks for getting this course if you have already on this course and let's start the journey